Hello, this is Chaos with David, and welcome to my first video of me playing with classes from the random class generator for Black Ops 2. And as you can see, I got a little domination on standoff, and I decided to make this into a series. But first off, before we get to the gameplay, here's the class that I used. For this game, I used the uh, Sega 12 as the primary, and as you can see by the wild cards, I got Perk 3, Greed, and Overkill, which is why I have the Vector as the secondary. And the perk perks are Hardline, Engineer, and Tactical Master due to Perk 3, Greed. I also have a Combat Axe and two EMP Grenades. And here are the score streaks that I was assigned to use. The RCXD, the Hunter Killer, and the Stealth Chopper. And I was pretty satisfied with the setup. It turned out pretty good. So, let's get to the gameplay now. And uh, I, uh, I I recently mentioned this in the uh, my uh, last video of me playing Black Ops 2 with my uh, latest 100 plus video, uh, and I decided just by waiting until one comment to uh, see if I would turn this into like a series or just do this really often. I mean, just to, just to get away from the uh, uh, trying to provide decent gameplay. However, I do provide pretty decent stats for this gameplay, and uh, I was pretty satisfied. And however, I did do. Uh, a couple of other games after this but then I realized before I was going to edit the video my commentary didn't pick up so I thought maybe I made it maybe I forgot to push the uh, uh, live commentary button uh, uh, before I started recording and uh, maybe that was a problem because uh, or maybe I or maybe I did but uh, I mean because I noticed the light and right right by the live commentary uh, button for my Elgato I thought I noticed it but maybe because I had my mic turned down or something like that and I got a little double kill right there, Mick double. <laughs> and um, maybe, and I thought I may as well just uh, just get just get the good one. And I probably would have done uh, maybe just the other one, but since I realized that the other two weren't really that good, so I think that I decided to only do this one. And he, that good dude got his ball shot off. And watch this. This is like total John Woo experience right here. Uh, coming up right here. This is like total John Woo experience. I dolphin dive. That dude misses me, but then he gets shot in the face. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool right there, actually. There's a little bit of like a John Woo action right there. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, I do. I wanted to just get away from uh, providing the gameplay. I, I want to make it like w entertaining. I like to mix up in terms of uh, making videos like of Call of Duty. I mean, I like. I'm like. I also like. I mean, I enjoy trying to be like that put the pub stomping kind of guy, like just trying to get right into the right into where the enemy is, uh, uh, right into the enemy territory and just cause chaos wherever I go. So, I mean, I just, I mean, I like I said, I want to take a break from it and uh, just thought I'd just do this since I uh, recently saw um, uh, Dosh Wants 27 uh, do a uh, live stream of uh, do a video of this, and I thought, hmm, that looks pretty cool. So. Uh, um, I decided to go and uh, try it out, and I did try it out, so uh, this isn't actually my first time doing this, but I thought since this was pretty good, I may as well go and uh, use this one. So, uh, as f and uh, I thought maybe I should uh, do this with, uh, uh, do this uh, more with uh, parties, because I know uh, I'll be going into uh, Schwantz's uh, streams whenever he does this, because he, cause he uh, usually does, uh, he says he was going to do uh, streams of this, so I thought maybe... I thought maybe I was going to go ahead and join in on his streams, and a uh, pretty cool idea there, Schwantz, Schwantz, so, uh, uh, just thought, just thought you know, <laughs> and, um, I, I, I thought, how could I refuse, and, uh, I got screwed on this part, I thought I was going to kill that guy, but no, I kind of got screwed, because he was waiting for me, we were playing Marco Polo again, and, uh, uh, like I said, this was a pretty good setup for me, I, I liked, uh, using this setup, I the only thing that kind of put me to shame though was um, uh, the uh, that that I really wasn't impressed with was the uh, combat axe because I could not get any kills with the combat axe unfortunately I want to be like the Paul Bunyan uh, of the modern era 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 you know and uh, I could have easily tried to EMP that shock charge just to get the points but oh well I had tactical mask I didn't really need to anyway and um, um uh, shoot, I can't believe I forgot what I was going to mention. Uh, crap. Oh, um, sorry, sorry about that. I sometimes it's kind of kind of difficult for me to stay on track most of the time. I mean, however, I did pick up a second RCXD. I like how he just how the the uh, RC card just went up there like a rant, like it was going to like a daredevil stunt, and all of a sudden it just got some air in it. The uh, blew the car up in his face. That was pretty. That was pretty awesome. And. Um, 
I did I did like this, and uh, this was the only good gameplay um, out of the uh, other three that I did. And I was really upset with this dude because that dude's just standing there. He wasn't even helping me try to capture the object, try to, try to capture Alpha. So I guess hmm, well it's his loss for the 200 points. So he had his chance. So uh, there was no chance he was going to get the 200 plus. And then I throw that hunter killer like a screw off but then this was kind of freaky right here I killed this McDougal right here <laughs> thank goodness he was gone and I ended up uh, getting uh, two stealth choppers in this game the first stealth chopper is gonna be in the next round cuz I basically just tried to take it easy I mean I do play the objective I well maybe not as much as the other as the other teammates did cuz I tried to uh, take it easy and uh, I tried to mix it up just try to uh, play the object try to do both play the objective and provide decent gameplay since I am uh, pretty quite good, I I was I for this round I went 18 and four, which is which is all right. But uh, the next round is where things get down, and uh, usually I'm already like kind of all right with a combat axe. I was kind of disappointed for not getting any kills, and uh, the MP grenades did uh, come in useful later on. So uh, I was I I thought this was a this class was uh, it was okay. I mean, it could have been a bit better if I had, like, attachments or maybe a different, uh, um, lethal instead of combat axe. Because, uh, I, I mean, as a matter of fact, I probably should have just, like, trolled the combat axes as soon as I, uh, spawn in. Because I could, I'm still yet to get that Hail Mary. And, uh, I see this dude over where the tractor is. It's, I thought he was going to be standing on the tractor, but then he, but look at that. He decides to play hide and seek in the grass but only to be killed by me and I get my first stealth chopper but then this dude got the crossbow and I ended up getting stuck before I decided to take him down with me so as you can see I get my first stealth chopper so uh, I uh, and I uh, decided whenever I uh, did my uh, other gameplays I didn't really get all the streaks so I thought if I were to get the, all the streaks oh, another dude trying to McDougal again <laughs> Nice try, buddy, but that was a bad move for your part, because you cannot hide from the VSATs. No matter what you do, you can't hide from the VSATs. You can run, but you can't hide. And that dude's got his ball shot off. <laughs> anyway, uh, the other two gameplays, um, I mean, I did do I did do good in terms of KD, but uh, it was, wasn't really that great. I didn't get all my streaks. Uh, like, for instance, I didn't get a uh, stealth chopper in the other one. I, I was assigned a stealth chopper in one of the other classes. And uh, I didn't get a dragon fire for one of them, so I thought, hmm, I didn't really like it. So uh, I think this, I was I was satisfied with this gameplay, so I I decided to just go ahead and do this one for this video. But uh, I will, I mean, I may do uh, gameplays where I just maybe not do as good with just a silly with a silly with a random class, even if it's a silly one. I'll I'll go ahead and do it, because um, and as you can see, I got my second stealth chopper, but then I sh probably should. There was a time I probably should have uh, switched to my Sega, but uh, I really didn't think he was coming around. I mean, it it really throws me off whenever people come around the corner like that. And this has got to be the most re one of the most ridiculous deaths I've ever witnessed in this game. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna get him because I was right up in his face and that I shot that Sega 12 right at him. That looked like it was gonna be pretty good, like it was gonna be a, a kill right there. Maybe if I had like a laser sight, maybe it would have helped. And also a long barrel, and uh, I ended up. Uh, uh, I only got 49 kills in this. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop doing spoiler alerts because in case you guys are like wondering, oh my goodness, what did this guy do? And I can't, be couldn't believe this dude cannot die. He took like three sets of pellets from the Sega 12, and at that close range, he should have, he should have died from that, honestly. But then I got, p and as you see right there, revenge is sweet. Payback is indeed a freaking bitch, ladies and gentlemen. So I got him with payback. Instead, instead, instead I used the vector. Blah, blah. I need to get my wording straight. I mean, I'm still having that problem trying to think before I speak. I mean, because trying to do that can be quite tough. Now, this part was kind of silly because I ended up shooting the stinking tank. And I took down that dude with the crossbow, but then these two came out of nowhere. Really, Treyarch, you just have to go with that really silly spawns. Then those two, because those were the same two guys that I just killed right there. And I, and I tried to go some more John Woo, John Woo action, but because I had the Sega 12 ready to blast him, and I get a little triple play. That was pretty close right there. So uh, that was a pretty like a pretty close call for a triple kill. But then I noticed a center gun. <laughs> Thank goodness for uh, Engineer, huh? 
and uh, for having EMP grenades. So I was able to take out the uh, sentry gun, but then I was unable to capture Alpha because of my uh, that dude comes out of nowhere, and I thought we were we were gonna get A there. Cause it looked since there were two guys there, but then all of a sudden that dude just came around the tank. That was pretty. That was quite a pity. And I had no idea how that R60 just all of a sudden bumped out there. And I did not. I did not push the boost button. I. Uh, it just seemed like it got hit by an EMP grenade or something. I mean, even though that's not really what happened, because I didn't see uh, sparks coming out of it. I mean, but that's just what it seemed like. It seemed like it got bumped. And uh, I tried to go for the combat axe for the win, but apparently I got stuck by the crossbow dude. So, yeah, oh well. I tried anyway. <laughs> and as you can see, I go 49 to 12, which is not bad for a uh, first time playing this. So I thought I will go ahead and take it, and uh, and I will maybe if in the next class if I had a combat axe, I'll try and do that again, <laughs> and try to at least do a uh, live commentary uh, whenever I do this with parties and and uh, future videos uh, of me doing silly stuff like this, because it will be really interesting if I'm able to uh, catch the uh, uh, me talking with my party, and uh, it will be just like a lot better than just playing with random people playing solo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video, and I will try to make uh, pretty decent ones and pretty silly ones also. So I will keep making these videos and uh, make it as a little series. So yeah, so anyway, I would like to take this time to invite you guys to give a like to that Facebook and give a follow to that Twitter so you guys can keep updated with any other projects I may have in store for you. Or if you guys just want to send me messages saying hi or hey, do you want to do this or hey, do you want to do that, then just send those messages my way and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Take it easy.